Hi, Janine. <laughs> Sorry that you couldn't do the class live and I'm glad you'll be doing it later. But um, anyway, again, starting down on the back, on our backs, soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, <clears throat> down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your heart to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, Four. One more time. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. <clears throat> Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have <clears throat> Allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. 
and one deep exhale. Good job. <clears throat> Inhale, those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Extend your legs, switch your hips back. <clears throat> We're moving into Dandasana, staff pose. Flex your feet. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right side, opening east and west. Drag that left elbow down on the outside of your right knee. Drag your shoulders back and down. Make mudras with both sets of fingers and breathe. Again, breathing in and out, opening up those right obliques as we do. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you open to the left, drag that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Drag your shoulders back and down again, and smile, it's Tuesday. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. And then exhale as you reach, 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 hinging at the hips. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, chin to shin in Dandasana, staff pose. And then just curl in. Again, this slows our heart rate down. If this is too uncomfortable, you can always place a block in between your calves. You can also place your bolster on your thighs. Wherever you are is perfect. And again, Concentrate on the breath as you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. And as you breathe out, breathe that resistance out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in Dandasana, Staff Pose. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging your left heel in. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, down. Reach, 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 reach. Shin to shin. And then just curl in. In half dandasana. Again, opening up as much as possible. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Again, if this is too um, easy for you, possibly place your hands around the sole of your foot, interlace your fingers and draw your shoulders back and down, drag your chin down towards your shin for a deeper stretch. If this is in your practice, don't feel like you have to. And slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your right knee, placing it on your left knee, twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first and exhale as you walk those hands forward, placing that right cheek on the block. If this is in your practice, in a full body twist, we're twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks. And remember to breathe. Your breath is your power. As you're in this twist, this allows us to massage our internal organs, releasing toxins as we do. Thank you. 
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. <clears throat> inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging your right heel in. Flex that left foot. Scooch back onto your bolster if you'd like to. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. As far as you can, chin to shin, and then curl in. Again, you can always place, interlace your fingers around the sole of your foot, drag those shoulders back and down, dragging your chin to your shin if you'd like to. Again, concentrate on moving your hearts down towards your thigh through the breath. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left knee to your right knee, twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward, placing that left cheek on the mat. And this is a chakra expansion.
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming up to the tops of your mats. Bend your legs and shake them out. Good job. Moving in to Yoga Nidra. Make sure that you have a pillow for your head. You can turn off your video if you'd like to. Also make sure that you have a bolster for your knees, or if you don't have a bolster, make sure that your feet are as wide as the mat with your knees touching. <clears throat> Maybe have a pillow for your eyes, but be sure that you have a blanket to stay warm. That's the most important thing because your body heat goes down as we're doing yoga nidra. So I will be changing our playlist. I'll be taking my video off. Let's see. And again, we're starting to connect with the breath <clears throat> wherever you are. Breathing in and out. It is time for Yoga Nidra. You should be lying on your back with the knees slightly bent and supported. Make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that will be comfortable for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during yoga nidra so that both your body and your brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice has ended. The practice of Yoga Nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to the hypnagogic state, a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked to move your awareness to various bodily sensations, emotions, and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If the mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice.
Become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward. Searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments. Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside your home, to sounds inside your home, to sounds inside the room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls of your room, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. <clears throat> Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body without any effort. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. There is a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat, into your lungs. There is a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. <clears throat> the natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. <clears throat> Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation. followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. Slow inhale, even slower exhale and pause. Feel the urge to breathe in, bubble up inside of you. When you need to inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower, exhale, and then pause where the body is neither breathing in nor out. Mm -hmm. 
please continue breathing in this way. Now go back to the natural easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or the exhale. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. At this moment, you should make your sankalpa or intention. The sankalpa should be a short, positive statement in simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please mentally state your sankalpa clearly and with awareness three times. <clears throat> the sankalpa you make during Yoga Nidra plants a seed in the fertile soil of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also say to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra. I am awake and relaxed. We will now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You will move your awareness to different parts of your body as soon as you hear them named. Please say the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not move any part. The practice begins on the right side. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, Heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, Fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, arm. 
fit. Waist. Hip. Thigh. Knee. Calf. Ankle. Heel. Sole of the foot. Top of the foot. Left big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. Now go to the back of the body. Right heel. Left heel. Right calf. Left calf. Right thigh. Left thigh. Right buttock. Left buttock. Lower back. Middle back, upper back, the entire spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head. Top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow. Left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril. Right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, chin, jaw, throat. Right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, Right groin, left groin, the pelvic floor, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole right arm. The whole left arm, 
the whole face, the whole head, the whole torso, the whole body, the whole body. Now imagine the whole body becoming light as though your body could float away from the floor and toward the ceiling. The head is light and weightless. The limbs are light and weightless. The whole body light and weightless. You are rising higher and higher away from the floor. Imagine your body becoming heavy. Feel the heaviness in all parts of the body. Each part is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The head is heavy. The limbs are heavy. The torso is heavy. So heavy that it is sinking down into the floor. Awaken the experience of cold in the body. The experience of chilly cold. Imagine being outside in winter without enough clothing. You feel this chill permeating your entire body. Now allow the sensation of warmth to spread throughout the entire body. Remember the feeling of heat in summer when you are out in the sun with no shade. You feel heat radiating onto your skin. Heat all around the body. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you were at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors. Patterns and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any subtle images make themselves known, Simply notice them without directing the images. If thoughts occur, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now, a number of different things will be named and you should envision them on the level of emotion, memory, and imagination as best you can. Jump from image to image as soon as you hear it. Your favorite song. A beautiful garden path. 
a cat stretching. Taking a deep breath. A vibrant sunset. A path in the woods. A temple on a mountain. A burning candle. A warm embrace. Laughing with friends. Your favorite food. A relaxing afternoon. Clear water. Receiving help from others. A babbling brook. A tall tree. A bouquet of flowers. The sun shining overhead. A foggy morning. Your reflection in a mirror. A full moon. A good night's rest. The touch of a loved one. Buddha meditating. A peacock feather. Red desert. The sound of my voice. Your body lying on the floor. It is time to repeat your sankalpa. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Finish with the line, I am whole, healed, and healthy. Come back to the feeling of your breath flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time, develop your awareness of your physical body. Your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor and take your awareness into all the points that are touching the floor. The back of your heels, your thighs, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands, and your head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects that are around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move.
start by slowly moving your hands and feet. Take your time, there is no hurry. When you're ready, slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day. It's the beginning of the month. Thank you all for those of you who have said amen and namaste. Thank you, ladies. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Hope, hope everybody's doing okay.